So I'm here at my favorite produce market. It is Fresh Creole Farms here in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm just gonna go in and pick up a couple of things, mainly some protein. I'm gonna prep a few things and do some videos. So I will see you guys inside. Here is kind of expensive, but let me, I just kind of wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Like this pineapple here is $3.79 and I know it's like a dollar something or two dollars at Walmart. So I really don't buy too much of their produce but it looks good unless I'm just in here and I don't feel like going to another store and I need something, then I'll buy it. But otherwise, no. Like I said, just a few things that I can prep and then the rest will be, um, I do have to grab some things for my family and they're like, you're not gonna fly with us and have us on a diet, so. I love garlic too, but this thing is $3.89 in here. It's important to know your prices when you go to the store, cause no problem. Some of them will definitely try to get over on you. That's cheaper at Walmart too. But this, this looks good. I'm not gonna buy this right now because I'm not gonna use it and I, I mean, I'm not gonna use it right at the moment. So I'll wait on that. I wanna try butternut squash. I don't think I ever had butternut squash. But in this wash, noodles might be interesting. But I'm just getting it. That's what I got. I don't want to get some peanuts. I'm going to try both spicy. My doctor said that I should eat spicy things as long as my stomach. Um, to handle it so I have done the taste test because I love my spicy food so so far so good so I'm gonna keep on getting it that I'm gonna get that I'm debating on making some turkey burgers I like fresh turkey burgers. I don't like the already pre-made patties. And then this is turkey breakfast. Possibly. Now that I will buy in a row. I'm not trying to hold my camera up all towards people because they looking at me like I'm just recording them. I'm gonna get some pork chops. My family loves pork chops, so I'm gonna get uh, probably two packs of these. So I have the for four ninety seven. Oh, it's killing me not to get no stay. Oh, oh, oh. Mahi last week, it was pretty good. I 
I've been having some taste for some collard greens. I am making me some collard greens. And share number 13, please. And number 9, please. Like I said, it's some of the stuff you just gotta kind of Get this bacon for my house for $35. My family goes to bacon. Okay, I'll give me some chicken. I want to make a whole chicken in my air fryer, like a rotisserie chicken. a nice pack of meat. It's like 12 pieces of meat. It has thighs, wings, breasts, legs. That's not a bad meal at all. Get one of those. My daughter loves chicken legs. I, I could do without them, but I will get her a pack. And I like making some stuff with legs. Get some chicken. I have to go back and get the chicken wings. I thought they had some more bigger ones over here, but I guess not. I'm headed to see my doctor for my four month checkup. Um, this is just my regular primary doctor. So I haven't seen him since I had my surgery. So I'm gonna try to record some of my vitals. If they let me, I will let you guys know how it goes. See you in a bit. They're coming here. Um, one thing I am gonna have my doctor uh, give me a referral so I can do the sleep apnea test. I never had anybody tell me, I don't snore never had anybody tell me I like stop breathing in my sleep but when I was in the hospital for surgery I remember I don't know if it was just the medicine that they gave me I was pretty out of it but I do remember the nurse coming in there like are you okay are you okay because I guess um she was saying like it was almost like I stopped breathing so I want to get that checked out just to make sure I'm clear there and I don't have sleep apnea um 
So I probably won't record. Um, I won't record when my doctor comes in, but I will come back after my appointment to let you guys know what happened. Hey guys, it's your girl. I am out here. It is early in the morning. It is so beautiful. One of my new hobbies that I have found since I have had my surgery is to go fishing. And I have actually, this is my second time going fishing. So I'm going to pretend like I've been fishing a whole lot of times, but I just find this an amazing experience. It's so beautiful. You can hear the birds chirping. It is just beautiful out here. My honey is down there. Um, there's a, let me see if I could turn it around. It's an exercise too because you be running back and forth looking at different fishing hooks but I just find it so relaxing and so be beautiful. I'm going to turn it around in a second so you guys can see like the ocean up here in florida it's like nine in the morning come out really early we started out it was dark this air feels so good y'all black drum he caught let me be correct <laughs> he caught some black drum no, nothing yet today since it's so early and we just getting out here the sheep head i told him i want him to catch me some flounder or something some fish i know something about because i don't know about black heads and all that i'm from chicago and i live in florida now so i have no idea about half these fish right now nobody's came out yet except for the people over there but they have boats lucky them he's one of the fishing lines I don't know if you can see it because of the sun I'm learning how to throw them and get my own fishing rod so and of course I have to get purple my favorite color. Look how beautiful. There's people up. You can see it. last few days I go back to work this week so I want to come out and go fishing it's a lot less congested during the week than on the weekends There's a lot of people on the weekend <laughs>